Hello and welcome to another Warsaw casting video. Today we have Salah Kalastija and Doz. I'm just going to call him Salah because that's easier. So we're going to be starting off on Salah. He's going to go straight down. Doz going to take the first kill of the game. Moving very quickly around the map. Doz, a very good player of Warsaw. Salah, a reflex player. Coming over to Warfork just now. Doz getting in a lot of good shots. First items going. Both players trading items. Doz setting the time off. Salah going to get a kill there. Very close. Doz going to return with the rockets. Both players leaving both these fights very low. All of them right now. 2-2 two to two the scoreline. These fights coming thick and fast right at the start. Doz coming fast. Beautiful, perfect timing for Salah to turn around right there. Now going to be pushing in a bit aggressive. Very low health. Going to want to get that mega. Grabs it. Doz going to get the red armor. So Doz probably in the better position right now. He's got better weapons, I think. Salah looking around for the weapons. But it's not going to matter because Salah's able to do a hell of a lot of damage. Drops back down. Not expecting Doz to still be there. Needs to pick up something else. Just a rocket launcher and some frag uh, shotgun shells is not going to do too much good in this game. Goes, teleports out. You can drop back around quite easily. It's something that quite a lot of people get confused about when they first use that teleporter. Actually, it comes out very close to where it lays itself. Dodd's going to pick up that mega. Salah now with zero ammo, 24 health, running a hell away. Has done well to survive this far. Needs to pick up a few more weapons. Seems to not be too confident on this map. Doz obviously has played this map a hell of a lot. He's much more confident. Salah seems to just be dodging around, finding out the map as it goes. There's quite a few games on this map that I'm going to be casting. Between these two, I've picked one at random. I'm not going to be casting them in the order they were played. Picked one at random. So Doz now. Heading around the back, heads in fast, doesn't see Salah quickly, but Salah now playing a defensive game. He knows he needs to wait for items. The Mega just went to Doz. Now Doz is going to know that he can push in quite hard. He's got seven, still 7 minutes 40 left in this game. And it's 3-2, to two, so Salah not with a big lead. Collecting the small armies, playing very carefully here, playing very well in fact. Playing that sort of game. Doz going to tie it up here. Going to get that red armor and now has a good chance, a good stack. Needs to make an advantage of it because neither of the main items are coming up but for a little bit as Doz has just taken them. So now Salah on the run again, but this time with less of a stack and with Doz having the lead. So Salah needs to play aggressive but can't and Doz can afford to play a little bit less aggressive but goes in way too aggressive and Salah lands a beautiful shot there with the rocket launcher to take Doz very low and then finishes it off with the LG. Now both players again moving around the map. They both know how to get around very well. Salah not particularly knowing the layout of the map but the actual movement very very good. Sometimes being a reflex player is going to forget that there's the dash mechanic but in general, has good movement other than down, which helps a lot. Especially when you watch the difference between someone who comes from CPMA, Quake Live, or Zenotic with air control coming to this game, or people who come in with uh, with a lot of Quake Live experience. Or Quake Champions now that Anarchy and uh, Sawlag have been heavy nerfed for the last little while. Games being traded between each other right now. Frags going one way and the other way. We're four minutes into this and neither player has got a particularly good advantage. That was an incredible shot from Doz right there though. Absolutely perfect. Picks up that mega and is, that's got to have tilted Salah. Honestly, that's got to have been painful right there. Doz flying around this map quite frankly. Not managing to land too many shots though. Salah landing a lot of shots and now Doz out of ammo. He's going to need to head up. If he could head upstairs... To the 10 ammo, he'd be very good right there. Doz looking for that yellow, but I don't actually think he's going to be able to get it because Salah's going to take him out. So now Salah back in the lead. And well, Doz is going to have to play quite carefully for the next few seconds. But he should be able to pick up this red unless he goes down. Salah going to dodge out. Doz landing a beautiful electro bolt right there to end that little fight and now moving back in beautiful LG there 
Absolutely spot on aiming. Lovely little rail. Both of these players have incredible aim, especially at the speed. You need incredible aim at speed in this game because people just do not slow down. You bounce straight off the wall. You do stuff like that. You're completely unpredictable if you want to be. It's all about using the movement and being able to hit moving opponents. One of the most difficult games to hit. If you've ever watched Clan Arena in this game, you will entirely understand. If you've ever played Clan Arena, you will understand the pain of most players. A beautiful flick rocket there from Doz. Managing to take a two-frag advantage. The biggest advantage this game has seen. We're five and a half minutes in and now Doz seems to be running away with it a little bit. He's got map control. He's got the items. He's got the weapons he needs. He needs a bit more ammo on a couple of them. But other than that, he's about all right. If he can take another frag, he can definitely take this game. He's going to grab it, but he's going to go very low. Doz should be in a position, if he knows what the timings are, to take Salah, uh, to take Doz out. Sorry, Do Salah should be in a position to take Doz out. Four minutes left on the clock. Doz running around two seconds. He's going to leave that item. He's going to leave it, but he's going to get the Mega House. That's a good place to be. The Red Armour's still up. He needs to go over. Salah picks it up. Doz is going to know because he came out of that teleporter. Doz knows the timing. He's going to know that Salah has that red. He's waiting. He runs away again. He's getting quite unlucky with these times. He doesn't quite know. He thinks that they should definitely be up by now. So he leaves because if it's definitely up by now, it means your opponent has taken it. He's now going to realise that he cocked up a little there. Going to get taken out with a beautiful rail from Salah. He did make a spree of five, which is probably the biggest spree we're going to see this game, judging by what the rest of the game has looked like Dawes now with a three frag lead. Salah slowly playing. Dawes, a much faster player, of course, using that known speed around the map. He has the mega. He should have the red in a second if he wins this fight. I forgot to turn on uh, gun models and I apologise. There we go. Sorry about that. And now a faller frag lead for Doz. If he can capitalise on this. I don't think he's going to be able to right now. And he is going to go down. Salah picking up the mega. But he gets railed. And that's not looking good for him now. Doz is converting all these frags again. He's managed to get the lead. But the frags are just being traded. Every time we swap weapons, we swap players after a frag we see that neither player comes out of any of these fights with particularly much health. And so many fights going on in between each um, each item. I mean, we're eight minutes into this game and each player has made over a frag a minute. We're looking at almost three frags a minute so far in this game. Which is pretty damn good. Just showing the speed of these players. And the fact that a game with so many frags can still be so close. Sometimes you get used to seeing games with not many frags and a lot of sitting around and waiting. But then see a good game like this. And this game's all about speed, fighting, pushing. It's an intense game. It's what CPMA absolutely aims to be by taking the clock away. But somehow more so think with the dash mechanic forcing you to go fast and a lot of the weaponry, the way the weapons work, they really, really force a play style that just forces aggressive play, forces kills to be made and you win by the kills rather than by the, uh, rather than by the tactics really. Your aim is however redundant if you don't have the tactics. As we can see by these players playing extremely well. Salah is two frags in it. It's less than a minute left to go. He can entirely do this. Even now with Doz, with a massive stat, it's still possible. It's unlikely. It's especially unlikely now with 35 seconds left on the clock. Salah is losing by four frags. I wouldn't have said it's absolutely impossible, but now I think he has given up. I think that will be GG, but... It's certainly possible. At the one minute mark, it was definitely possible. And now it's gone down. True player never calls GG past the minute mark. But 
these this has been an incredible game and I'm looking forward to casting the other few games that I've got of these guys. And there we go. GG. Well played, Dos.